Jesus commands all of his followers in John 14, 12 by saying, Anyone who truly believes him shall be able to do the same great miracles that he did. And shall be able to do even greater miracles because he has gone back to the Father in heaven. Taking the Lord very seriously at his commands, Dr. Indy Aldu from Nigeria, Africa, has been used powerfully by God to raise many physically dead and dying people for over 35 years worldwide. Now, with those tangible proofs and experiences following his global ministry today, he has written an international best-selling series known as Raising the Dead. In this entire how-to best-selling series, Dr. Aldi reveals and teaches what God taught him personally and practically during a nearly four-hour vision in heaven concerning what is death and where did it come from, what to do or not to do to raise the dead, how to raise the dead, why we need to raise the dead, when to raise the dead, and where to raise the dead, so that you too can do the same and impact your world for God. In order to buy these life-changing and revolutionary international bestsellers, log on to www.mymiracletv.org right now. For over 30 years in nearly 40 nations around the world, God has been using Dr. Andy Aldu mightily, according to John 14, 12, to raise many physically dead and dying people, heal the sick, operate many special miracles, as well as winning many sinners to Christ. As the author of the internationally best-selling series known as Raising the Dead, Dr. Aldu has been honorably received by many world leaders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, log on to RaisingTheDead.org for additional details because Dr. Adu is coming to your area for a great meeting and you need to be there. Do you know what? It's about time to raise the dead. And this is what the Raising the Dead broadcast is all about. And I'm your host, Dr. Andy Audu. Stay tuned at www.raisingthedead.org or www.mymiracletv.org and we are welcoming you from nation to nation, from continent to continent, city to city, town to town, village to village, all around the whole world, wherever there is computer and you're watching us on the internet, this is web streaming live bringing to you the Raising the Dead broadcast the man of God from Nigeria, Dr. Andy Audu. And uh, I thank God for the blessed day we have. Get your heart ready. Get the Bible. Wake up. Wash your face. If it is daytime or noontime or midnight time or early in the morning, wherever you are on the surface of the planet, just it's time to drink from the cup of the living God, the cup of the waters of living, living waters of life-giving power and also salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Now we are uh, going to take our Bibles and uh, I would like first of all as usual just to thank God and show our gratitude uh, that he's allowing us to hear a new broadcast every time that he allows us. So we've been on the air for years now those of you that have been listening to this program or you're watching it but if you're quite new to it I tell you as you go to mymiracletv.org there are a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, past uh, video clips and uh, uh, programs or episodes that are there. Many of them you can watch a lot of the moves and the, the healings and deliverances and miracles and miracles and miracles that God has been doing through our broadcast. So enjoy yourself again at mymiracletv.org and tell other friends and relatives and neighbors of yours, wherever they might be around the world, to go to that site. That is my miracle TV that RG. Amen. Lord, we thank you for the breath of life that comes from I am that I am into our whole beings, particularly those of us that have repented of our sins and have come into turn with you through the sacrifice, the shed blood, and the life giving offering that you've given us by your son Jesus Christ. We thank you. For touching people all over the world, no matter what their status may be, or the color of their skins, or the nationalities, the genders, I thank you because you love everybody, both Jews and Gentiles. And we thank you, Father. 
in Jesus name we pray amen and amen amen now let's uh, take to our Bibles because I from time to time step out even though sometimes I've been going through some series I know I've been talking about marriage God's way family and all of them but sometimes I pose a little bit to interject it with something again that God has impressed upon my heart to bring especially in a matter of a few days we are about to enter the new year now when I say new year this message might be played in 10 years to come 20 or 30 or 40 years or 50 or 100 years if the Lord doesn't come yet I might be gone then but future generations may take advantage of this technology to allow this message to be replayed uh, in different fashions and forms so no matter what age you might be living in at that time I know we are you know just about to cross over to the year 2014 we are in 2013 heading to 2014 but somebody who might be born in the year in 2060 2070 2100 or 2000 what this message can relate to you just like I, you know in the, I was born in the mid 50s okay and uh, there are some messages I've heard in the 40s and in the 30s uh, some uh, books I've read uh, like watch my knee you know I mean this one lived a long time ago uh, before I was even born and then uh, um, the pilgrim uh, progress and, and many other good literature the Christian literature that have been written centuries ago and I'm reading them today and they're relating to me they touch my heart but above all the Bible it's an everlasting book so I'm using the Bible here to share some things that will bless you no matter what generation what era or what dispensation you might be living in I pray that God will use this message to resonate with you and touch your lives to let you know that we are entering the new era of God's dealing with you and me new generation or new year new whatever you may call it so we are going to read in the Bible as we are just about to cross over the Roman calendar of 2013 to 2014 as I say we might be playing in the future but it will still mean something to you amen don't allow just the year to determine the value or the validity of the message the message you know is percutant is lively and is resonant it can uh, Touch anybody at any time, any place, whatsoever generation. Amen. Amen. But I also know what I'll be sharing with you here. Let me lay the foundation very well because we're going to read them from the scriptures. Uh, the message here, particular, God was dealing with the particular people, the Jewish people, the nation of Israel, were using a Bible or a book that belongs to the Jewish people that any non Jewish community who can step out by faith and claim the God of Israel to be their God through Jesus I'm talking about Jesus now you can get a lot of the promises in the old book of the Bible when I say old book here I mean both Old Testament and the New Testament because the New Testament was written you know about roughly 2000 years ago so the Bible doesn't grow old it can relate to anybody it is the book that God has allowed the Jewish people, the prophets who were Jews in most cases, and the Messiah who was a Jew, to relate to us, even Gentiles as well. So here we're going to see that the calendar we're dealing with, the Jewish calendar is totally different from the Roman or the Gregorian uh, calendar, the Greek or the Roman calendar that we've been uh, using till today. So the message, even though the language might have been to the Jewish people when God either say I'm doing something new among you or this is a new year and all of that he was talking in the Jew in terms of the Jewish calendar and the Jewish calendar is not we're not in 2013 or 2014 in the Jewish calendar this is still I mean way you know you have uh, some years back they're still behind I mean in terms of their calendar okay so here let's see something uh, the God has impressed upon my heart to prepare every one of you by the way I encourage you if you're here in Albany or around uh, some of the counties uh, just around Dolberty County you're welcome to be with us in our service uh, this uh, uh, this coming Tuesday which is going to be the end, the end of the year 2013 and uh, we're going to have a wonderful 
powerful service from that out, you know, from uh, 10 o'clock, and the doors will open at 9.30. You're welcome to come over there. The address is 1012 North Van Buren Street here in Albany. And come ready because, as you know, in my services, there are a lot of actions. You know, I'm not talking about moves just in terms of words. I have a lot of actions. I'm action-oriented person. I'm demonstrated. I'm a performer, if you like. I perform. And I'm not ashamed of that word. And I know it's a word that is carrying a lot of church folks now. They say, you know, no performance, no performance. I'm a performing person. I demonstrate what I preach. I live it first, then I do it. So you're highly invited. You can come with your relatives and enjoy whatever God will be doing there. I guarantee you, you get to any one of my services, you will see what God does.